Sweden's integration into NATO in 2024 marked a pivotal shift from its long-standing policy of neutrality, catalyzing a robust modernization of its defense capabilities, and deepening cooperation with Western allies. A notable aspect of this strategic realignment is Sweden's involvement in the Spear 3 missile program, a UK-led initiative to develop an advanced air-to-surface cruise missile for precision strikes. While Sweden is not a primary developer or financier, its role as a facilitator through the Witzel test range underscores its growing importance in NATO's defense ecosystem. The Spear 3 missile, developed by MBDA UK, is a turbojet-powered precision-guided weapon designed to engage diverse targets, including armored vehicles, naval vessels, air defense systems, and moving targets at a standoff range of 120 to 140 kilometers. Weighing under 90 kilograms, the missile features advanced guidance systems, including inertial navigation, GPS, radar, and laser homing, making it a versatile tool for suppression of enemy air defenses and maritime strike missions. Primarily intended for the F-35B Lightning II, Spear 3 has also been tested on the Eurofighter Typhoon and is eyed for future integration with the Tempest Fighter under the Global Combat Air Program. The program, part of the UK Ministry of Defense's broader effort to enhance air-to-ground and anti-ship capabilities, has faced delays, with full operational capability on the F-35B now projected for 2028. Sweden's involvement centers on providing the Witzel Test Range, one of Europe's largest overland test facilities, located in the Arctic Circle. This range offers a controlled environment with vast airspace, minimal population density, and advanced instrumentation, making it ideal for missile testing. Sweden's participation aligns with its post-NATO accession strategy to support allied defense initiatives, enhance interoperability, and bolster regional security in the Baltic Sea area, particularly in light of Russia's military presence in Kaliningrad. This role also complements Sweden's defense industry, led by companies like Saab, and its history of hosting international weapons tests, positioning it as a key partner in NATO's technological advancements. Sweden's contribution to the Spear 3 program gained prominence with the first successful guided firing of the missile in October 2024 at the Vidsel test range. Conducted by the RAF's 41 Test and Evaluation Squadron, the trial involved a BAE Systems-operated Typhoon launching a modified Spear 3 equipped with a telemetry unit instead of a live warhead against a decommissioned tank. The test demonstrated critical capabilities including high altitude, high speed release, long range free flight control, autonomous navigation, and precise target engagement using the missile's advanced radar seeker. A Saab Gripen served as a chase plane, highlighting Sweden's active support in providing air assets for monitoring and data collection. This milestone marked a significant step in the program's demonstration phase, validating the missile's performance in a realistic scenario. The Witzel range's infrastructure, with its ability to support end-to-end -end testing, proved instrumental in achieving these objectives. However, the broader Spear 3 program has faced challenges, including integration delays that have pushed full F-35B operability to 2028 though these issues are unrelated to Sweden's testing role. The October 2024 test underscores Sweden's growing reliability as a NATO partner, capable of facilitating complex weapons trials that advance allied capabilities. Looking ahead, Sweden is poised to continue its role in the Spear 3 program with additional guided firings scheduled for summer 2025 at Vitzel. These tests will build on the 2024 success, focusing on further validating the missile's performance, particularly its integration with the F-35B. Hardware has already been delivered to Lockheed Martin in the U.S. for on-aircraft flight tests, indicating a collaborative testing roadmap that leverages Sweden's facilities. The development of the Spear EW variant, designed for electronic warfare tasks like jamming and decoy operations, may also involve future trials at Witzel, potentially expanding Sweden's contribution to networked missile capabilities. 
While Sweden's current involvement is limited to testing, its expertise in aerospace, particularly through Saab's work on the Gripen E, could lead to deeper engagement, such as exploring Spear 3 integration for its own Air Force or participating in joint development efforts. However, no firm commitments have been made, and Sweden's role will likely remain centered on testing unless strategic priorities shift. The missile's compatibility with multiple platforms, including the Typhoon, F-35, and potentially Tempest, positions it as a candidate for future Swedish procurement, especially as Sweden seeks to enhance its precision strike capabilities within NATO's framework. These developments will further solidify Witzel's status as a premier testing hub and strengthen Sweden's ties with NATO allies. Sweden's primary role in the Spear 3 program is to provide the Witzel test range and associated infrastructure, including air assets like the Gripen Chase plane, for live fire trials, data collection, and performance validation. This role serves multiple strategic objectives. First, it supports NATO allies, particularly the UK and Italy, by enabling critical tests that advance the Spear 3's development, thereby enhancing collective defense capabilities. Second, it fosters collaboration with leading defense firms like MBDA and BAE Systems, potentially benefiting Sweden's defense industry through knowledge transfer or future contracts. Third, it aligns with Sweden's goal of achieving NATO interoperability as demonstrated in its own modernization programs, such as the Gripen E and Patriot Air Defense Systems. By facilitating Spear 3 tests, Sweden gains exposure to cutting edge missile technology, informing its own procurement and doctrinal decisions. Finally, this involvement bolsters regional security in the Baltic Sea, where advanced standoff weapons like Spear 3 could counter threats from Russia's Iskander missiles and air defense systems. Sweden's purpose is thus twofold, to contribute to NATO's technological edge while positioning itself as a vital partner in the alliance's defense architecture. Sweden's involvement in the Spear 3 program carries significant implications for both itself and its partners. For Sweden, hosting tests at Vidsel enhances its strategic positioning within NATO reinforcing its transition from neutrality to active alliance participation. This role could lead to greater influence in NATO defense planning, particularly in the Baltic region, where Sweden's geographic position and military capabilities are critical. Economically, collaboration with MBDA and BAE Systems supports Sweden's defense industry, potentially creating opportunities for Saab to engage in high-tech projects or expand exports. The testing activities also generate economic activity at Vidsel, supporting local infrastructure. From a security perspective, exposure to Spear 3's capabilities strengthens Sweden's understanding of modern air-to-surface warfare, informing its own modernization efforts and enhancing deterrence against regional threats. For its partners, Sweden's role is equally impactful. The UK benefits directly as Vitzel's facilities accelerate Spear 3's development, ensuring the RAF and Royal Navy gain a cutting-edge standoff capability for CAE and maritime missions. Italy, a partner in Spear 3 integration for the F-35, leverages Sweden's testing support to de-risk the program and reduce costs. NATO allies, including Finland, Norway, and the Baltic states, gain from the missile's eventual deployment which enhances the Alliance's ability to counter advanced air defenses. The Spear 3's potential for network swarming, especially with the Spear EW variant, could transform NATO's operational approach, with Sweden's testing role indirectly contributing to this paradigm shift. Additionally, the missile's export potential, driven by its multi-platform compatibility, could benefit MBDA's market expansion to countries like Japan or Australia, with Sweden's involvement enhancing the program's credibility.